to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So, in today's live session, we are going to talk about how you can become a consultant. So, we have already like uh, created a video and we have uploaded that on our YouTube channel that how you can become a consultant and uh, these days I will come regularly live on uh, YouTube channel so that uh, you can get a better insight on how you can start your own building consultancy firm okay so if you have guys uh, like are willing to just start their own consultancy firm then you can also uh, like start that and uh, I am going to help you out with that one so I'm just waiting for a few more viewers to join over here and after that we will start the session okay so right now I have two viewers so viewers how are you and uh, just say hi to me so that I can know who is my audience and uh, just uh, with the hi also write your profession so that I can guide you according to your profession that how you can become a consultant and I'm just going to answer a few more things in uh, uh, this live session which we are missed in the like uh, previous one and uh, you have asked that okay so uh, guys just you can just say hi to me so that I can know who are the viewers who have joined us so far and write your profession also so that uh, I can start this okay and okay so by the time uh, you are uh, like uh, writing your comments I will just explain you what is a building consultancy so okay we have Ananya Roy with us hi Ananya what do you do and uh, next so what is a building consultancy so in the building consultancy firm whatever the works that are related to civil engineering field if you are doing the 90 percent of the works inside the office then that comes under a consultancy work now what are the examples of that so if you will just uh, come for the examples then the building consultancy works comes like uh, you are uh, preparing a building estimate if you are designing a building you are making the uh, 3d model of a building that means you are designing the interior or the exterior and uh, if you are making the 2d plans then all such works are comes under coming under the building consultancy firm even the if you are doing some survey and you are preparing the survey report and inside your office then the preparation of the uh, survey report that comes under the consultancy work however if a person goes to the site and there he just note all the points and that comes under the site work but if uh, the planning of the map the layouts and everything that comes under the consultancy work so same thing happens in our construction process also the actual construction is going to be happen on the site but that comes under the construction work however the preparation of the like structural drawing plans these are coming under the consultancy work okay so we have uh, these guys I guess uh, Ananya is saying that she is doing the MTech in construction management. Okay, Ananya, that's a very good thing. So, what are your goals, Ananya? Like after this uh, uh, MTech, what are you supposed to do? Do you have any plan for that? And then we have uh, Mujamil Pinjir. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello, Mujamil. And uh, I guess uh, Mujamil is also our regular viewer. So, hi. And if you have any kind of question, you can simply ask that over here. And uh, okay and the rest of the people you can just say hi to me so that i can uh, get your name okay now uh, you can also write your professions so that uh, okay you ananya is willing to apply for jobs so what kind of jobs you are looking for do you want to do the construction planning and management that's all your goal like you want to manage the whole project right the project planning thing then the execution part or you also want to just go over the site and go for the site visits there you want to just enroll yourself over there what are your exact goals okay so you can tell me that now so Ananya is saying for that uh, she is looking for a construction management role so in that uh, like most of the uh, portion will be like it will be a comes something like a 50 50 job so planning will be done in the office but uh, mostly she will have to monitor the site so that uh, whatever the construction steps are going on she can manage it in a proper way so another essence is going for project planning and scheduling so basically the project planning scheduling everything comes under the consultancy work but 
it is basically done by also the site engineers also the project planners so if it is a small project even a site engineer can do that but if it is a big project if it is a multi-story building there we need the construction planners they prepare the plan for the whole building they uh, just schedule everything they just uh, uh, give the their client that okay this material should be available on the site at this point of the time so that your construction works is also going smooth and uh, Anane is saying that she is also in BIM that means she is also like uh, doing the detailing of the uh, work like uh, every structural drawing that she will be given she will make the detailed drawing out of that then she can also uh, like plan the projects and uh, pass on the information to each and every person involved in that okay okay then we have uh, Pranith mother hi Pranith and uh, so what do you do Pranith okay basically in this uh, session we will discuss about how you can become a building consultant so I need to know your professions and what are your future goals so that we can just talk according to that okay and uh, even if uh, someone is watching this live session later then you can also uh, simply just um, uh, go ahead and leave your comment over there in the next live session i will definitely answer that okay pranith is a student and uh, in your btx or mtech what are you in or in your diploma pranith uh, like what are you pursuing right now okay and guys uh, if you are liking this session you can also hit the like button because that will motivate me to stay longer in this session okay and if you have any kind of question you can ask it now because i am here to answer that so uh, basically i have explained what is building consultancy work now there is uh, some kind of misconceptions while someone is willing to go for the building consultancy so if you will say to your seniors or to some experienced one okay i want to open up a building consultancy then normally what they suggest normally they suggest that okay uh, I am you will have to get some experience like uh, go and get for some five to ten years of the experience I've also like uh, studied a lot of blogs in like recent days and uh, like I've written the like I studied the blog on the Quora and the LinkedIn and uh, most of the people are just suggesting that okay you will have to get a lot of experience before you can start the actual consultancy work but that is just a misconception because if you are getting into a job okay then what you will get like just Ananya is aiming she is already said that okay I want to get into a job and I want to just uh, prepare the schedule for the construction projects so that's clear of her but what about the others if you are willing to be a consultant do you want to be a structural engineer or do you want to be a like um, architectural planner or you want to be a interior or exterior designer or you want to be an estimator what kind of job role you are looking for because someone not hire you as a consultant in their form they will hire you as a particular employee and normally if you are working in a any big firm then they that will help or you can say that will improve your resume but that will not just uh, bring you all the expertise that is required to open up a building consultancy firm because if you are opening up a building consultancy firm then you are supposed to give all the solutions that i have just uh, talked in the beginning of this session that means you should be ready for the up like uh, architectural planning for the approval drawings for the like structural design for estimation work that means you should uh, be prepared for the rough estimate bank estimate and the detailed estimate all these three aspects of the estimation then you should be able to design the interior and the exterior of the building and uh, if uh, required then you can also go for the survey works okay so these are the, so many things that is expected from you and if a client will approach you then definitely he will he or she will expect that from you so you will have to prepare yourself accordingly okay so in that case what will happen okay you if you are into a job role then they can offer you a job as an estimator so suppose you are an estimator and you want to open up a building consultancy form then what you can do you can just do the estimation of a building but you can't be the one-stop solution for all the issues that is being covered in the consultancy work out there so getting into a job is not a solution okay so that's what i'm saying or you can also just say that uh, i will just get experience for two years of a uh, job as an 3d planner or you can say architectural planner then i will also learn the 3d modeling that means the interior and the exterior designing i will also learn the estimation for two years and then i will also get a experience for the structural designing and i will learn softwares and i will just come back and after like eight to ten years i will start my consultancy firm because by then i will have my links and then that will help me out to start my own consultancy that can also be an approach 
but that is taking a lot of time and the time is valuable aspect of our life be it you are a civil engineer or not but time is the most valuable thing that you can get okay so guys uh, when it comes to the time and value so if you think that this uh, live session is of value for you then you can also hit the like button because that will reflect your like uh, involvement in this uh, live session okay so that i can stay longer in this live session okay so we have uh, Praneet Visad who is saying that uh, he is getting the diploma okay uh, so Praneet you are getting diploma that are good that's a good thing so what are your future goal Praneet okay then we have a uh, guru design studio and he say saying hi sir I am MES structural engineer graduate interested to start design con consultancy and architectural area also please guide me what is the procedure and what area okay what are i guess uh, he's also just trying to complete the question okay so by the time i will just answer this portion of the question so what i am getting from your question uh you are uh me in the instruction engineer so you have the degree now you want to go into the structural designing field and also in the architectural planning field okay so that's a very good thing because that's the basic thing that is required so architectural planning is most in demand so in the architectural planning what are the different things that you need to know so the skill sets that are required you need to know how to like plan the building according to all the government rules then if you are opening up a consultancy firm then you should be ready to uh, like prepare the approval drawing also you should connect to the municipal corporation and everything corporation and everything however if you will just start up your consultancy then you will have to take the license from them also so how to get that we will explain that so the second best thing uh, second thing that is required over here is the like uh, you should know how to prepare the approval drawing now see there are two things i said a plan and the approval drawing so uh, like architectural plan that is actually constructed on the site and that which you will show to government that are a little different things and you need to know the differences over there then how to prepare the approval drawing and how to finally get the approval for your client so that is also your responsibility that you will get the approval for your client your clients should not uh, just uh, go here and there office to office to just uh, get their files approved that okay they can start the construction work no this should not happen like that if you're opening up a consultancy firm then you should uh, like uh, be prepared for like uh, making those drawings approved from the municipal corporation or whatever the like uh, legal authority is there in your area okay or in your client's area not in your area okay so you will have to get that from there so these are the three things for the architectural planning area if you want to go for the structure like this one now you are a me in a structural engineering so i guess that was your thing okay i yeah yeah, yeah you are a me in a structural engineering so i'm just talking about the grow design studio over here so that means you have the knowledge okay now what do you need to do you need to learn a few software and whatever the software is perfect for you that you can start like if you are working on a, some government project or some uh, you are outsourcing to some uh, private companies which are the big companies then you need to know like uh, the software that is being used over there like uh, in the government projects mostly they are using the start for some of the areas etabs is being used in some of the areas technical structural designer is also being used if you are working for a uh, like a uh, multinational company you are outsourcing your uh, like skill sets then you need to work on technical structural designer so that is a, a demand in software and uh, in that software you can just uh, generate any of the like design very easily and conveniently and in a very little amount of time okay so you need to learn these three softwares will do your need even if you are know just the uh, start pro and the technical structure designer that will uh, suffice your need you don't need to learn all the softwares that is coming over there however the more you know the better it is but to start you can just start with a single software that is technical structure designer if you have a high configuration laptop if you don't have that then you can also start with the start pro okay now if you are like picking up your own project like you are picking the projects from your clients in your locality then you can simply pick up the projects and start designing them and for that you can use any software that you already know or if you are willing to learn some new software then i would suggest take a structural designer is the best one okay now guys i can see that uh, they have very few likes over here so those who haven't liked the video yet so please like that because uh, if you are thinking that okay this is a valuable session and uh, I can help you out with this then you can also hit the like button then okay we have Pranjal with us and he's saying sir for estimation which software is usual 
So Pranjal, there are softwares uh, for estimation also and in uh, different parts of the country uh, like uh, different software are being used but basically what I suggest to my students that uh, they can use the Excel because you know how to do the estimation of a building. So Excel is the best one because you don't have to rely on any of the like preset formulas over there. You can define your own formulas for anything and um, you can easily design that. So if you just know how to complete a G plus one building estimation project, then you can go for any floor project. Okay, so that is very simple to do that. Okay, so you can just uh, go for Excel. However, there are softwares that are available for the building estimation also. But I don't think that you need to learn all over there because in the civil center, we are a consultancy and we never needed to uh, like, uh, start, like, use any particular software for estimation. We were always relying on the Excel and uh, what I am personally used uh, using over here in my consultancy that I'm going to suggest to you. Okay, so that's my uh, call that you can go for Excel. All you need to do is to uh, learn the easiest way of doing the estimation and that will suffice your need. Okay. So guys, uh, uh, do you find this session interesting? Because I'm not seeing any hike in the likes over here. Okay. So if you do, then please do that. And next question, please. So I guess uh, so far we have connected with the Pranjal, Guru Design, then the Praneet, then uh, Ananya. So these are the five people that we are connected with. Then the Mujamir is also there. Yeah, this five to six people are connected in this live session. Uh, what about the rest? If you are like finding any kind of thing, then you can simply share it over here and uh, just uh, treat this session as a friendly one because I'm not going to charge anything to you. And if you want to get how you can be a consultant in a detailed way, then I will just uh, add up a link over there in the description. And uh, in the description, you will find that link. You have to just uh, visit civilcenter.co.in and over there, you will just find a video. You have to just watch that and uh, then you will uh, be uh, like you can also book a, a strategy call with us so that can that is also possible so if you are a professional and you want to open up your consultancy then uh, that uh, video can help you out with that because you have a little bit of the experience of the uh, market and then you can also just uh, go ahead and uh, find for it okay next uh, we have a question what is a construct consultant I am not very much sure about that Pranjal, so I am I can't answer that one. Okay, so next thing over here is uh, yeah. So I was talking about the in this time you can plan how you can uh, just uh, give up your business and that will be definitely free. Okay, so that's a free strategy call. No one will be you have to just uh, pick up your slot according to your comfort. You can choose you can choose the time. So that's all up to you. So guys, you will find the link in the description and uh, I guess we will have the next meeting in the next live session because network is a little low over here. So we'll see you in the next live session. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.